What's up everybody, Freebooter here, and I got some cool stuff that I sold during the weekend. So I sold three items Saturday and Sunday. In case you didn't watch my last video, I actually uh, I actually only have about 40 items. Last video I had 30 items. I've gotten about 10 items up since then. But okay, so um, let's take a look at what we got going on here. First, we got two of these LA Free Press newspapers. I actually got these from a friend at an estate sale. He gets stuff out of estate sales. They actually let him come in and take everything that they don't sell at the estate sales. So sometimes it's just too much for him. And he says, hey, Eric, come and get a van load full of stuff. So out of that van load full of stuff, I actually pulled a box full of old um, underground newspapers. And what underground newspapers are, it's kind of like a liberal or hippie newspaper. These are from the, uh, 1967. And they reported on stuff that the mainstream newspaper did not cover. And one of the really, really cool things that's in here is full page ads from old B-movies and full page ads from old concerts from uh, famous bands. Like one of these has some really cool uh, full, page, full page ads from The Doors and there's like Jefferson Airplane and they're really cool ads that you can't even, you can't even find this stuff anymore. And they weren't in the big newspapers, so it's just rare. And people like to frame these old ads and put them on the wall. Also, like I said, there's stuff that they reported on in this, so you can kind of go back and read about this stuff that you can't read about in the mainstream newspapers like the Times and stuff like that. So if you ever see a, 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 like a bunch of newspapers at an estate sale or a yard sale or something like that, look through them. Try to identify, try to see what the underground newspapers look like. This is not the only underground newspaper. There's tons and tons of underground newspapers. And I picked them up a bunch of times. And like I said, I picked these up for free. You can pick a newspapers up for very, very cheap. One of these sold for 45 The one with the Doors ads in it sold for 50 bucks. I probably could have waited and sold it for 60 or 70 bucks, But I got a bunch of them. And like I said, I got it for free. I'm making 40 bucks, 50 bucks. That's awesome. Next, we sold this Mickey Mouse Silly Symphonies Babes in the Woods and King Neptune pop-up book. This is a really cool Disney pop-up book. Keep your eye open for Disney pop-up books. This is from, I think it's from 1926. Let me check here. Yeah, this is from, um, oh no, wait, maybe not 26. Oh, 1933. This is from 1933. Stick around, and in a second, I'm going to show you what the inside of this book looks like. I paid $2 for this out at the flea market. In case you don't know who I am, I am a flea market caretaker. I actually live at the flea market in an RV. My RV is right here. I'm actually under this canopy. I'm actually I'm setting up a, a, a place to work out back here and do some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and stuff. I just got some mats, so this is going to be a really awesome place to hang out. Um, so yeah, I paid $2 for this. You'd be shocked what you can find out at the flea market. But uh, I paid 2 bucks for this. And I sold it for 80 bucks. I thought I was going to be able to get a one, 120 bucks or something like that. That was the last one that I saw that it sold. It sold for over a hundred dollars, but it it saw it sat for months. I eventually ended up selling it for 80. I'm not really. I think it was the condition because the binding's coming apart a little bit, and the um, the uh, oh man, the um, there's some little creases and stuff in it. But it's a really rare book. So yeah, I got 80 bucks for it. Two into 80. And then I got these for free, made almost a hundred bucks on that. So yeah, pretty awesome. And like I said, I'm gonna keep putting stuff on eBay. You're gonna uh, keep getting these bolo videos out too. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Freebooter out. Peace.